What's up everyone, Danny Lennon back with another CSR2 video. Today we are checking out the Buick Roadster Shops Grand National. We will do a stage 6 shift in tune, a stage 5 shift in tune. We'll do our review on the car and we're going to see if we can find a live racing setup for it as well. I do my best to make videos to help you guys out. So if you would like to help my channel, hit that like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that and let's get to the video. When you have this car 100% maxed out with all the stage 6 parts and all of the fusions, this is how we're going to shift it, tune it, and drive it. Nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive 2.0. Tire pressure 8 psi. Dyno 6.749. To drive it, we're going to let go of the gas a little bit after number 1 to get a perfect start. Instantly shift in the second, hit your nitrous, all the rest of the shifts right before the red line after that. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous, third gear, fourth gear. And that's all she wrote. There we got a 6.714. Now we're gonna fit it back to stage five parts only and do a stage five shift and tune. When you have this car on stage five parts only, put your nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive 2.0, tire pressure 8 psi, dyno 9.367. To drive it, let go of the gas a little bit after number one, instantly shift in the second and hit your nitrous, all the rest of the shifts right before the red line. Three, two, one, go, second nitrous. Third gear. And you can go into fourth gear if you want, but you don't have to. Then we got a 9.257. All right, so I did find something that might work for live racing. It's probably not going to be the greatest, but we're going to show it to you anyway. This will probably win a few live races, but it may not be the world's best live racer. What you want to do is put your transmission to stage four, tire stage three, nitrous stage two, all the other parts fitted back to stock. To tune it, put your nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive 3.50, tire pressure 8 psi, with a dyno of a 12.783, so that means we want to run right about 12.8. To drive it, let go of the gas right about number one, do a very standard shift pattern and nitrous on second. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous, third gear, fourth gear, and that's all she wrote. Very easy to drive. It'll probably win a few few live races here and there. And then we got a 12.840. The last run was a 12.801. So play with your launch timings and your shifts and stuff, and you can run right about a 12.8 and stay into the 12.8 lobby. I don't think this will be the best live racing car, but it should do decent. All right, so it's time to do a little review. So it has a top speed of just over 400 miles per hour. You can hit 6.6s with this car, 0 to 60 in 0 0.8, 0 to 100 in like 1.1. So everything's looking pretty good. The live racing setup's just kind of okay. I don't know. I mean, it will beat the dyno time by just a little bit. It's, uh, it's an interesting car, not one of my favorites. I think it's a pretty good car, but I think there are a lot of other cars that are way better than this one. So should you upgrade this? Well, if you need it for one of the events, by all means, upgrade it. If you don't need it for an event, that's going to be personal preference, whether you like the car enough to upgrade it. But overall, pretty decent car. I wish it would have got better numbers for the live racing setup. Normally, we want to see three times the amount of Evo as performance points for these low, low performance point, high Evo live racing setups. So it's It'll probably do okay, but it probably won't be wonderful. That's the one thing is, you you might be surprised. I mean, if you already upgraded the car, might as well set it up for the live racing setup, test it out, see if it works for you or not. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Huge shout out to my channel members. Thank you guys so much. That extra support really helps. If you would like to become a channel member, just click the little button right below the video that says join. I would appreciate that big time. And if you drop down the video's description, you'll find my Discord server, my other YouTube channels. You'll find my merch store. 
some affiliate links to get some really awesome microphones, lighting, camera gears for YouTube channels, for podcasting, for voice acting, whatever it is you do. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Lighting it out. Have a great day. See ya.